at the International Conference Center in Oka. Uh, this is uh, a place that will sit 10,000 people at the same time. We are at the roofing stage of this work. As you can see, the first uh, group member is uh, about to be hoist up. You know, uh, we have all the materials we require to be able to complete this uh, roofing. And the contractor here, yeah, Mr. Tu, has uh, reassured me that this place will be ready for use by March next year. By March next year. You know, so I, uh, I'll be visiting here every week to see the progress they are making. And um, I'm happy so far that all the components they require, despite these COVID challenges, uh, are here now. And therefore, they are working uh, very well. Uh, the remaining items required to finish this job we are going to source locally, you know. Uh, the challenge of sourcing from China has been uh, enormous, but um, we have uh, bypassed that now. The roofing engineering is a very uh, modern and um, very complicated one, but it's being done here. There are no pillars in this uh, main arena, so that they will, they will be able to sit the 10,000 uh, people that His Excellency had uh, uh, desired uh, if you look, there's also the um, gallery space over there. So we're about to put up the uh, roof structures and then the coverings will follow. All of those are laying here. And once we do that, the other procurements that are coming, everything will be fitted and then we will deliver this as we had just promised His Excellency by March of 2021. So Your Excellency, we know about the, the urgency of the project and we have undertaken every form of it's a responsibility on our, on, our, on, our, on our shoulders, and this we are going to work out very well. I'm very happy to see every time your support of our, our work. As a contractor of the ICC, and uh, we will still continuing to provide our high quality job to the state, and we will still continue doing as what we promised for deliver this uh, ICC project. Uh, before uh, ending of the match. Thank you very much, sir. City Stadium that we commenced uh, roughly a month ago. Uh, this stadium will be available, will be ready uh, before end of December this year. And um, on the 28th of uh, December, the Chairman Sports Commission has already fixed a football match that will be here. When finished, 
this will be one of the stadia in Nigeria that is uh, FIFA compliant uh, and is being done by FIFA uh, recognized contractor Ebi. So I would like uh, Ebi to speak to this project uh, and reassure us that uh, it has to be delivered before end of December. Thank you. Excellency, first of all, I want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to be a part of history in a number of states. As you can see, what we are constructing here will be world standard. If we start from our pitch, the grass we are installing here is an hybrid pitch. It's the latest technology in the synthetic world. It has a wearing warranty of 12 years to 14 years. If properly maintained, it could last up to 20 years. And I'm sure XLC is a maintenance call short governor. He's going to make sure this facility is properly maintained. When we come to our track, as you can see, the track base have been casted. You can really see track base being casted in Nigeria anywhere in the world. We've casted and we're going to go 9 cm of asphalt on this casted floor, compacted to 8 cm. And then we're, going, we're introducing the most expensive track money can buy in the athletic world is called a full polyurethane track. You can go and check. It's a casted track with minimum warranty of 14 years. You know, we're a company that believes in constructing sustainable facilities. In this, in this stadium, the main bowl facility, Excellency, have instructed that we must create measures to protect the track at the pitch. That's why we have a five meter area that is in Anambra color today. So we're going to have two different perimeter fences in this main bowl. The first perimeter fence is to protect the track and the field as instructed by His Excellency. We're also creating a disabled pav pavilion. Excellency is a disabled friendly governor. Money Michel too is a disabled friendly contractor. So we are creating for the first time in this country a disabled pavilion where the disabled can get a sense of belonging whenever there is a, there's, there's an athletic or football event in this stadium. So the materials and product we're bringing to this stadium is top class. And it's not for me to tell the world what we're constructing. I always like the end users to tell the world what we have done here. The, 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 the cooling system we're bringing to this stadium is the first of its kind in the world, invented by Bonnie Michel, that's, being, that's going through FIFA approval right now. We can water our field while the game is going on. You know, we're, we're a company that believe in eradicating and bringing the best of sporting facilities to Africa and all in Nigeria. I thank God that His Excellency gave us this opportunity. I must thank the number of people who have given us all the support to make sure this project goes on very well. Between now and December, we're going to get this project ready for you to commission it to be the best in Anambra State, sir. Thank, thank you. you, sir. First of all, I want to thank you especially for this stadium that you are bringing to life. Uh, Anambra has been known not to have a standard playing pitch, but today we are having it live. And come 28th of December, you are going to have a live match here. The number of bombers will be live here, the number of babes will be live here, and the community shield, which is our trademark, the finals will be played here and we are well prepared. We want to assure number of state people that sports has taken its right position, and number of state has taken the right position, and we are not going back on it. Thank you very much. Thank you.